Congratulations, what does it feel for you to start up with the Sixers? Uh, yeah, unbelievable feeling to be able to play in the BBL with um, a great franchise as well, so I'm really looking forward to, to playing some games. How's your uh, technique at the moment? Uh, how's your development, do you, do you feel? Um, yeah, I think it's going really well. Um, I've had a little bit of a, of a red ball focus lately, obviously, with the, uh, with the shield cricket and things, so it would be nice to, uh, to get the white ball in my hands again and, and start bowling a few more variations. You've had some pretty amazing figures as well. There's been a lot of stories about you. Are you comfortable with that kind of media spotlight? Uh, yeah, I guess it's, it's sort of a different challenge, but um, yeah, I, I like the media attention, I guess, and, and I guess I'll get it sometimes and, and other times I won't, but I'm just trying to ride the wave at the moment, I guess. Well, does your life feel like it's changed a bit since the last couple of weeks? Uh, it definitely has. Um, my, da my dad's told me that as well. He, he says after, I've, after every time I take some wickets, he goes, well, you've changed your life today. So, um, yeah, it's a really, really good feeling. Those comparisons to, to Shane Warne, how do they feel? Um, pretty, I'm pretty honoured to be put in the same, um, same boat as the great man himself, but um, I'm, I'm trying to sort of go, go my own way a little bit and, and learn as much as I can from, from him and, and all the other leg spinners as well. Do you, yeah, have you done any work with Warney or, or would you like to? Uh, I've done uh, sort of one session very briefly with, uh, with Warney, um, went out in the Adelaide Oval and I, I was quite young and I was lucky enough to sort of be out there and it was an amazing feeling and, and to sort of shake his hand and so feel like he, he knows who I am was, was really awesome. Do, do you feel pressure sometimes that Australia craves for another great leg spinner and we've been looking for one since Shane Warne and all this attention's on you or, or are you just an 18 year old and you just don't care about it? Um, a little bit of both, I guess. Um, so the attention's one thing. I sort of feel it more when, I, when I'm off the field a little bit, but once I get out there, I just sort of let cricket take over, and I love playing the game, and it, it's amazing to be able to play on some of, some of these fantastic grounds and with, with the company that I'm in. So, yeah, I'm just loving it at the moment. You've done so well for a teenager. It takes years to learn the craft of leg spinning. How far do you think you can go with it? Uh, um, I haven't really thought about that too much to be honest, but I, I'd love to take it as far as I can go and I just keep trying to tick off every box as I, as I go along and I, I see where it takes me. Are there any, um, a couple of big bash clubs interested in if so, what made you settle on the sixes? Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what, who, who was interested in everything, that's sort of more of my managers to sort of talk about. but. Um, I'm, I'm just really keen to, to, to play BBL cricket and fortunate that the Sixers gave me that opportunity and to play on the SCG and I've heard it's a, it's a spinner's wicket as well so that would be a fantastic opportunity. Hard to leave Adelaide mate? Um, yeah, a little bit. I've, I've had some chats about, about leaving um, but it, again it's only for, for two and a half months and um, I'm sure if there, there'll be options further down the track maybe. You said you've heard it's a spinner's wicket, you've not played at the SCG before? Uh, I've played once for, for a BBL curtain raiser before, um, for, for a CA internal side. Um, that, that was an amazing experience as, I, as I've already said and it was great to be out in the Oval. And Lloyd, you've had success in the World Cup, you've had success now coming for BBL, you start to sort of fire up aspirations for you looking towards sort of test cricket in the coming years? Um, yeah, I've, I've only played three Shield matches to be honest, so I'm more worried about sort of keeping my spot in, in the Shield team for the Redbacks and um, if I can do that I'll, I'd be a very, very happy man. Does it feel exciting though, it is kind of a changing time in Australian cricket, like they're looking for young talent and certainly you'd like to throw your head in the hat in the ring I'd imagine, like there's opportunities there that wouldn't you say? Um, yeah, I, I guess that there's definitely opportunities for, for young talent but um, all I can do is just keep, keep trying to perform the, the best that I can and, and yeah, just tick those boxes. What are your mates being saying to you? Um, here and there a little bit. They're, they're, they're uh, pretty excited for me and, and it's great to have that, that support from, from my friends and family and they've been uh, really supportive for me. How what different is it being a leggy left-handed compared to warning? Like, can you still learn off warning's deliveries off YouTube or whatever? Or so, like left the same hand. deliveries, is it? Or I'm, I'm right-handed. I'm right oh, I'll take that back. So, that's all right. Lloyd, when, what age were you when you started leg spinning and started <coughs> being able to land them properly? Um, I think I was probably around 8 to 10 years old. Um, and I've just uh, always just tried to, to jump in the nets and, and bowl as many balls as I can and, and especially with variations and things and um, my dad's been a, a big influence on, on that and he kept sort of backing me and 
um, telling me to just go out and bowl it in games and I just got a lot of confidence from that and that was really good. Yeah, but why leg spin? Did you just start mucking around or what happened? A bit of that and um, just sort of noticed from a couple of coaches it's sort of giving me confidence saying you've got a bit of natural talent and um, just try and just keep going with it and, and um, and yeah, so a natural sort of turner of the ball was one of the quotes that I got. Um, and they said that if you can keep going with that, you'll, you'll have a bright future. So that gave me a lot of confidence to, to keep going with it. Have you got all the warning deliveries? You've got the flipper, googling? <laughs> I don't know if I've got him covered with all the deliveries, but um, definitely trying to, to learn as many deliveries as I can. And there are a lot of different things that I can still learn. Is your old man a cricketer as well, was he? Uh, no, he, he wasn't a cricketer. I think he played one season for, just for his school or something like that. But um, just in, in the way that he's been supporting me sort of just off the field and, and being there is someone that I can always just talk to. That's sort of been the main focus for me with, with him. There's been a couple of NPS guys who have had you know, really good starts to the domestic season. Why do you think that is? Is it just sort of a statement about the talent that was there? Yeah, definitely. I think um, they picked those guys for a reason, and and credit to uh, to Jack as well, um, who's obviously hit a hundred out there and and playing for the Sixers. So I'm really uh, really keen to, to be able to play with him, and uh, we're good friends. So that will be an awesome opportunity. What are you still talk with sort of Chris or any of the other guys up there as, as mentors? Yeah, no, definitely. We ha we have a group chat uh, still going with with Chris and all the other coaches, and. Um, yeah, we, as I was saying before, we give him a little bit of stick, and as he as he tears up when when Jack brings up his century, so um, yeah, some some great stuff there. And what's been like, whether it's his advice or anyone else in terms of dealing with the pressure, of, you know, being the next big thing and having these expectations of people talking about Test cricket. Um, just basically, just let let the cricket talk is is what they say, and um, try not to worry about it too much, and and just go out and just try and perform as best as you can. What are your aspirations over the next couple of years, Lena? And was this is this something you planned or is that something you didn't see coming? Uh, not something I probably planned but something I definitely hoped I'd, I'd be a part of and um, it's going to be a fantastic opportunity to see if uh, I get a game and um, yeah I'm really thrilled to be able to be a part of this organisation and um, to be able to play some white ball cricket. How do you think the challenge will differ for you in T20 as opposed to the uh, first class longer one day format? Um, I think there are different challenges um, in red ball cricket. It's probably a lot about con consistency, and in uh, in white ball cricket, it's probably about bowling a lot of different variations and um, being able to sort of outthink batters a lot quicker as as you only get four overs. So um, it'll be interesting to sort of uh, chat to the coaches about that and, and see where it leads.